hi guys and welcome to my vlog so i've decided that i'm gonna vlog today because i honestly didn't know what else to shoot and you guys enjoy my vlogs so i thought i might just vlog my day today it's 12 30 and i just woke up like 20 minutes ago if you can't already tell by the way i look but yeah i'm gonna vlog my day today and i hope you guys enjoy this vlog so it's time for lunch my mom just said the lunch is on the table and we're going to go eat lunch now we have tamalu and puris for lunch if you guys follow me on instagram you know i'm obsessed with this banana custard pie thing from this home baker i'll link his instagram in the description he is literally this is the best thing i've ever 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 had if you guys don't try this once in your life you haven't lived to see the You look fine. Stop being dramatic. It's all wet. You're being dramatic. You know she only shows me love on camera. In real life, she's always <laughs> like hitting me. So, I found this um, face mask online that I want to try. It's called a yogurt mask, and it's supposed to be really good for sensitive skin. And I have like insanely sensitive skin, which basically means like my skin is super super prone to like becoming red and irritated like sometimes if I just like do this like it'll just become really really red and irritated so this is supposed to help with that and it basically is yogurt honey and cocoa powder and it says yogurt is optimal for so for the soothing skin proteins cocoa powder calms irritation and honey tightens the skin so we're gonna try this mask. I'm gonna make it at home in a bit. I'm gonna get the ingredients here and make it here and not in the kitchen because the kitchen has really shitty lighting. So I'll be right back. So I have honey, I have yogurt, and I have cocoa powder. So the recipe calls for one tablespoon of yogurt, which is what I'm gonna put now. I think that sh this looks like really little so I don't know if it's going to be enough for a whole face mask but whatever. Then one teaspoon of honey, one teaspoon of cocoa powder and then we're going to mix it up. It smells kind of weird but I hope this turns out to be good and I'm going to go and do put this on my face in the bathroom because I don't want to make a mess here. I feel like I actually look like I belong in a horror movie right now. But yeah, the face mask is on and I'm supposed to leave it on for 20 minutes and then wash it off. So I will see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been like 25 minutes. It's pretty like dry now. My face feels like, you know, you know, so I'm gonna wash it off now. I have to say this is a really good mask. Like my skin feels so good and so soft and bright definitely definitely tried it's so easy as well it's like three ingredients that you i'm sure everyone has at home sorry i'm just in shock so i'm gonna work out soon in like probably like 15 20 minutes because i'm on the i'm doing the chloe ting two week ab challenge i did it a couple of weeks ago as well and it like was insane like it was actually insane it actually works and so i'm doing it again and i'm on day six or seven now i think so it's been like a week since I've been doing it and my body is in constant pain but I feel like it's worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys when I do my workout. Hi guys, so I'm going to do the Chloe thing two week workout now. Ignore this white sheet, I have it up as a background to take pictures later on day 7. I think today is day 7.
god. Oh. I'm so out of breath right now, but every single day I think it's gonna get easier and it just doesn't. But yeah, this is my progress. I feel like I'm kind of getting that line, that ab line, so I'm happy. Yeah, I'm gonna breathe a little and then I'm gonna go shower because I'm dying of sweat and then I'll be back. So I just finished showering and getting ready and I did like basic makeup and it's actually not raining today after a really long time and there's like really 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 nice sunlight outside there's like really nice sunlight in my balcony and I think I'm gonna take pictures because I don't know if any of you guys that follow me on Instagram have noticed but I am trying to start a new feed on Instagram and so I need some pictures it's been a while since there was like really nice sunlight so I'm gonna take you know, advantage of this opportunity. So I took some pictures in front of this sheet and I also took some pictures out in the balcony and I'm gonna post those pictures on Instagram once I post this vlog. So make sure you go and like my picture on Instagram after you finish watching this and hype me up a little bit. Welcome to my kitchen. We are going to make some guac and chips now. So we have an avocado, we have a tomato, an onion, lemon, and I don't know if, ooh, I forgot chili, green chili. Got the green chili. My favorite thing to do ever is cutting an avocado. It's just so stress relieving. Are you ready? So satisfying. And then and then scoop it out into my bowl. So we have my bowl of avocados and now I'm gonna cut this tomato an onion it up for you. So good. my guacamole is ready so that's how I make my guac and then I'm just gonna get some chips and take it to my room and eat some guac and chips so I am back in my room and I'm going to eat my guac and chips and see how it is I've made this a million times before so I know it's good but you know mmm mmm so good so it's been like a week since I filmed this vlog and I'm editing it right now and I realized that, that I forgot to end this vlog. So this is my outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you did, like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.